The United States has issued the strongest signal yet that it intends to take a military action against Syria over an alleged chemical weapons attack. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says the attack, which doctors say killed hundreds, was a moral obscenity that should shock the conscience of the world. In Joba, rebels continue to battle for territory. In these districts where nothing moves without the accompanying sounds of gunfire, perhaps it's no surprise on Monday UN vehicles were shot at. They moved through the dust and rubble as quickly as possible. But this image of the lead vehicle hits on Monday shows how dangerous it is. One vehicle, the lead vehicle, uh, did, was shot by snipers. It was hit in, uh, in its tires and also uh, in its front window. Uh, it, ultimately, it was not able to travel further. That, that vehicle could not be used. Unintimidated, the inspectors will continue on Tuesday to gather samples and testimonies. But the U.S. government says their findings will now simply add to what is already compelling evidence of a large-scale chemical attack. It defies any code of morality. Let me be clear. The indiscriminate slaughter of civilians, the killing of women and children and innocent bystanders by chemical weapons is a moral obscenity. By any standard, it is inexcusable and despite the excuses and equivocations that some have manufactured, it is undeniable. John Kerry went on to describe the footage of Wednesday's attack in Syria as gut-wrenching. But Russia has questioned the credibility of these images and warned the West not to breach international agreements. Применение силы без санкций Совета Безопасности ООН является грубейшим нарушением международного права. И еще раз подчеркну, даже если оставить в стороне правовую сторону, морально-этическую сторону дела, конкретные последствия внешнего вмешательства, не санкционированного международным сообществом, они только резко ухудшают ситуацию в той стране, которую как бы спасали от диктатуры, в которой хотели учредить. But British Foreign Secretary William Hague has not ruled out acting without a Security Council mandate. And he will meet with the British Prime Minister today ahead of a Security Council meeting and a decision on whether to recall Parliament. Back in Syria, rebels and government forces continue their bloody battle in a landscape smashed beyond recognition by two and a half years of war. Whatever atrocities have occurred over that period, it seems finally one has been committed that the world refuses to ignore.